And I like that combination of imagination and reality because it feeds each other. In October, usually I start to build a new animal. I bring it to the beach and then during the summer I do all kinds of experiments. There were all, all kinds of modifications on the beast. And then in the fall, I declare the animal extinct. They go to the boneyard. These boneyards are adopted in exhibitions. So what you see here in the Exploratorium will be the history of the strand beast evolution. Well, a strand beast is a, a skeleton made of PVC tube, which can walk on the wind. And this animal doesn't have to eat because it gets its energy from the wind. Their natural environment will be the beach. And through the years, there was an evolution of strand beasts, so they became better and better surviving the circumstances on the beach. And I, I do my best to make these animals more strong and to survive all these circumstances, in the hope that in, let's say, before I leave the planet, that these animals will uh, live on their own, so they don't need me anymore. I think that often happens with people, they look at my work and they identify themselves with me, as if they have to solve all the problems. I hope that they will be hypnotized by my dream, that they join me in my dream. So looking at the, the cladogram, I hope they can more or less follow all the steps of evolution the strand beast went through and that they can imagine more or less that this is a, a real evolution process. I hope that they experience that they can make the animal alive again by pushing it. We reanimate the strand beast. We pump up the, the, the wind stomach with the compressor so it comes alive again. So the, the extinct animal is reanimated. Normally a museum has a threshold where people don't climb over easy because art is always a little bit precious. Well, you don't see this threshold here in the Exploratorium. Kids run in and they're so eager to try everything. And that's one of the very good things with my work that you can really touch it and you can move it yourself. Many times people ask me, are you an artist? Are you a scientist? And I really don't know. I'm just a human being and in all human beings there is an artist and a scientist. And that fits good in this museum because it was founded by a mixture of those two as well.